Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Dr. P and welcome back today for another Fortnite Battle Royale video. Now in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about the fate of Season 5 and possibly even what's to come with Season 6, guys. And I know that's looking quite a bit ahead, but it's never too early to start speculating. Guys, if you enjoy the video, I would really appreciate it if you could take 0.2 seconds out of your day and drop a like. Let's shoot for 2,000. That would be insane. Also, if you're new and you want to stay fully up to date every time I upload another video, video, make sure to go ahead and subscribe and turn post notifications on. Every single time I upload a video, I go and check the comments and almost immediately the notification squad has already been there. So make sure to join that exclusive group and without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So previously on my channel, I talked about the flashing lights that sometimes spawn in the sky specifically for mobile players and it may be a visual glitch, who knows, but it's definitely appearing all over the night sky in Fortnite and it also has apparently a Morse code message hidden within it. This was taken from Reddit a few weeks ago, but in a nutshell, the Morse code message when translated actually comes out to August 4th. Now, it's highly speculated that if this is true, August 4th is going to be the date of the returning rocket, and the message is assumed to be from the visitor. Now, of course, as always, take anything I say in terms of speculation with a grain of salt, but this is definitely a cool idea, and the rocket coming back would make a lot of sense if you look at other things happening. For example, I talked about in a video not that long ago how all of the Easter Island statues that are on the map, there are seven in total, they actually are all pointing towards Salty Springs, and if you line them up, you can very clearly see that. Not only that, but the huge crack in the sky that was formed by the rocket originally leaving the world actually is almost directly over Salty Springs. On top of all of that, a while ago back in Season 4 when the rocket was about to launch, there was actually a hidden rocket diagram or a rocket hologram found under Salty Springs and a lot of people at the time assumed Salty would get hit by the rocket launch and you know truthfully, it still may be getting hit, it just may not be right away when they were trying to get hit because if you'll remember, there was definitely some sort of outside force that interfered with the rocket launch. As you might recall, it was targeting Tilted Towers, it was going to destroy the city, but before it did, something started teleporting it around and making it jump through hoops before it eventually went up in the sky and disappeared, forming the crack. Now, when and if this rocket returns, there's a great chance that the rocket could go and hit Salty, especially considering it's right above, it would just be a straight shot down, almost 90 degrees, and I don't know about you guys, but Salty is like one of my favorite places to land, it's legitimately, like, honestly, maybe my favorite spot to land, arguably, and if it were to get hit, I would kind of be upset, I would truly be upset. Now, just for a second, I want to talk a little bit about something else, and it relates back to everything, so don't worry. So, I made a video, like, when Season 5 first started, and I talked about the Tier 100 skin for this season, which, if you don't know by now, is Ragnarok. If you don't know what Ragnarok's definition means, and, I mean, there's a good chance you don't, in a nutshell, it means the final destruction of the world. Some might argue that whoever launched the rocket, whether it's the visitor or someone else, they were trying to destroy the world. They were trying to literally knock out the most popular place in the entire map, Tilted Towers, before something or someone threw it off the course and sent it away. The word Ragnarok is big in mythology, specifically Norse mythology, which includes Vikings, and there are a lot of Viking skins and Viking references within Fortnite Battle Royale in Season 5. Ragnarok himself is a Viking overlord, some kind of Viking king or something like that, and truth be told, he's very menacing, especially his tier 5 complete upgrade when you get like, what is it, like 500,000 XP, which is a lot, and you get all the way up to that max level for Ragnarok, man, he is scary. He has on a skull mask and he looks like he wants to murder you. So I would not be surprised if maybe he is going to be involved with a good bit of this. If the rocket returns or, you know, what it does, if it hits salty or hits the whole map or blows the map into oblivion, to start Season 6, that would not be completely out of the realm of possibility considering what we know about the word Ragnarok. And I mean, the definition, as you just saw, is the final destruction 
of the world. So like hypothetically speaking here, if the world is not salty, but the entire Fortnite map and it's the final destruction, mean there was an attempted destruction before. So it would be, you know, the last and final attempt. This all really does line up in my opinion. And you know, like I said before, take everything with a grain of salt because I am just putting together a very educated theory. It's nothing that's confirmed, but it does make a lot of sense. And I will say this, Last season in Season 4, the max level 100 skin was Omega. We all know how big of an influence he had in Season 4, the whole storyline in general. I wouldn't be the slightest bit surprised if Ragnarok is held to that same standard if he's going to also be heavily involved with the season and the outcome of the storyline for this season heavily rests on his shoulders. As always, guys, you guys are free to leave your thoughts, your feedback, your comments, in the comments section down below and there are really no wrong answers i mean we're all just making a big theory here i mean it does make a lot of sense but it's a theory nonetheless there are no wrong answers so if you have anything you think might be of importance that i left out or maybe i said but not in the same way as you're thinking let me know you know i want to hear i genuinely want to hear what you guys have to say because it really helps us all to piece together you know what's actually happening and what i like about my channel right now is over the past month or so honestly like the past three or four months i have developed a nice community here where we're all exchanging ideas and having a good time and learning together so Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like down below. And like I said, leave your thoughts down below. And with that said, guys, I'll catch you later. And until next time, take it easy and peace.